morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're heading to Laurelton, which is on the border of Nassau and Queens County on Long Island. New customer found us online and they got no heat from their Burnham gas fired boiler. All right, hopefully I'll be able to record some content. Hopefully I can educate and also entertain at the same time. And don't you fear, Peter Piper is here. Peter, I got money. We got a steam boiler, a burler, a steamer. I bet you she's a steamer. You can tell by the, the hood. There's a steamer. What do you guys think? The locals, you locals. Do we have a steamer? What do we got? Because we're around the corner. All right. Which way? Sure, absolutely. Steamer? Bro. Definitely a steamer. Old school super. George, the pool guy. George, I'm gonna call you back in a minute. Okay, okay no heat? Yes. Okay, please get a close door. We don't live in a barn. <laughs> a, little, like a, little, a little cool out today. Yes. Watch your head. Uh, right okay. here. Yep. Watch your head. If you crack your noggin and that's going to hurt. Okay. How you doing this day? Oh, good. <laughs> is this the boiler switch or is this just a light switch? That's a light switch. Okay. Is there a boiler switch on top of the stairs anywhere? No. No? Okay. Just the, just the uh, thermostat. Just thermostat? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me get some light going on here. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. It's my bed. I, I haven't been servicing it. I want to drain it. Oh, wow. I know I'm here for the boiler, but you got an antique right here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Kenmore. <laughs> Woo! Wow. You know what? Let's not even look at it. Yeah. That's going to be bad luck. Let's not even look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you got a Burnham steam boiler. Yeah. Uh, did you have it installed? Yeah. How long have you lived here? uh since 85 okay but, but we just got this um like about 2010 or so okay so it's 12 years old yeah. about any recent service maintenance things like that no okay and right now it's not heating right yeah is the thermostat on or off right now i think it's off okay you want to turn it on for me yeah you also have a thermostat in the basement too huh i did you did yeah past tense Plo yeah it's, it was right here and what happened to it uh we like took it out because it was um the, the return yes let's keep going on ah yeah. Okay. All right. Let's turn the thermostat on and see what happens. Yeah. All right, Peter. Let's refresh your memory. All right. I'm oh, wise. Not a trick question. All right. Do you remember what that's called? Fantastic. Yes. Remember what that's called? It's the auto feed. Yes. How about this doodad right here? Uh, pressure troll? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the thing with looks like a glass tube. What is that called? Cyclone. Okay, the, the thing with the dial on it. The thing with the green light on it right now. Low water pedal. Uh, this green thing. Relay. Four. Zone relay. Yes. This thing right here. Tra uh, yeah. Transformer. There you go. Take the front cover off. Lift it up. Perfect. Now we're going to get a little more tricky. What is this thing called right there? That is... Um, It gets pulled in once, yeah, kind of. once, once it gets a signal from, from the thermostat. So thermostat. Uh, relay. Yay! Wow. What is that called? Yes, what is this thing, <clears throat> this little white thing with the two wires attached to it? Uh, roll out switch. What's the one behind the boiler called? Attached to the bottom of the draft diverter. Um, if that's a roll out, that's a... Vent switch. Spill switch. Block vent damper switch. Perfect. All right, so he turned the thermostat on. We heard the thermostat relay clicked in, click in, right? Okay. When the thermostat relay clicks in, what happens next? Um, it sends power to, well, once, it's, once it gets plugged in, it tells the relay to basically fire up. Correct. In, in, in theory. Okay. Um, the gas valve is on. Do we have a pilot? 
No, no, I don't see a pile. Don't see a pile yeah. So, and we have some dirt and debris in there. Okay. Overall, not too bad. So, we need a tool bag. Mm -hmm. We need a, a means of, of flame, which I, I think we have one still in the tool bag, right? Lighter. Yeah, we have that, that long, skinny, skinny little lighter, right? And uh, grab the Testo. We're going to try to relight the pilot first. Flat Phillips screwdriver. And we'll get some more light here. There's a Phillips screw that holds in. It's a shipping screw. It holds in this front plate of the combustion chamber. I'm going to take this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to turn the power switch off, which is up here. Okay. If you notice, the relay turned off. That click that we heard was the relay de-energizing, but I also heard, I think I heard something from the gas valve. So we turned the power off because we're taking out this lever here, and this contains, what was this again? Rollout switch. Rollout switch. And if this touches metal, we could possibly short out the transformer. Now, you see there's no pilot flame in there, right? Yep. We're going to turn the gas valve. Right now it's on. We're going to put it to pilot. And all these directions are outlined right there. They're written by attorneys, so no one kills themselves and no one can sue Burnham. So make sure you read the directions. Now, it's on pilot. See this? Mm -hmm. We're gonna push down the plunger. When we push down the plunger, we're gonna have gas leaving, manually leaving the pilot tubing up here. See? It leaves the pilot tubing here and it goes to the pilot burner. Now, we're gonna take a light and we're gonna light that. See? You see that small little blue flame? Yep. We're gonna hold down the, the red plunger. Is it red? Yes. Sometimes it could be black. We're gonna hold that down for 60 seconds. When we let it go, if it doesn't stay on, 95% of the time, it's this thermal couple. 5% of the time, it's the gas valve. So hold this down for 60 seconds and then let go and see what happens. Now, since I know this boiler is from 2007, right? This thermal couple looks like the original one from the boiler. I got my money on a defective thermal couple. When I let this go right now, it's not gonna stay on. We ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, and it's out. So now we're gonna change thermal couple. Very easy to do. Let's get that that uh, flare socket that we have, that flare uh, wrench. It's in the uh, tool bag right at the side. Right there, boom, right there, right, right next to the gallow gun. Right next to the gallow gun, see the gallow gun? Right next to the gallow gun, the little, oh, oh, right there. This? Yep, grab that. Okay, now, the way I'm gonna do this, I'm going to take a couple burners out. I'm going to take them out. Just tap them. See if there's any dirt. We'll take these two out. And I'll keep going since I'm a nice guy. Cleaning any of the debris that could be accumulating inside each burner. But there we have it. Now. This is 3 eighths and 7 sixteenths. The three eighths does the thermal couple, just like that. Okay. And the other side does the gas pilot tubing. So there's the thermal couple out of the way. I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can get a better view. Yeah, right there. Okay. Get this out, turn it. And of course, my luck is not gonna turn that nut right there. So let's get a channel lock, small baby channel lock. Smallest one, yeah. Okay, and I am gonna try to loosen this up. Ah. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's take a look at the tip. She looks a little preggers there on the top, don't she? A little bloated. I'd say maybe four or five months pregnant. <laughs> All right, we need to get a new thermal couple. All right. 36 inch Honeywell thermal couple. Okay. Now, what I could also do, which I haven't done, is I can actually test the millivolts from the thermal couple. And I got videos on that, but 
I know it's original. I know it's not going to work. And if it doesn't, if this is not the problem, if I'm changing the gas valve, we're changing the thermocouple at the same time anyway. All right, so it's kind of a moot point. So this is how I like to do it. We have this little piece that goes right there, that sits there. This, I know we just chuck off to the side. We don't need that. So now, take a peek. Where is that nut? Okay, there that is. Get in there, like this. So, it goes in there, like this. We tighten this up. Come on, get in there. Go, baby, go, 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 go. Of course, it's gonna make me look like, make me look like a fool right now. Did I got it? Yes. Okay. So there you go. There's the tip of the thermal couple exposed in the pilot hood. All right. Now we're gonna take this. This where it gets a little tricky because these little these edges only fit in a certain way in the back. So take a look in the back there. All right. We're gonna dial that in. Right. One, two, three, the third one. Right, get in there, baby. Right there. See? It goes, locks into place just like that. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Again, it's annoying. Okay, now, I am going to take our thermal couple tubing, all right, bring it up right to there. And I'm not unwinding it all, all right? There's no need to. Stick that right there. Wiggle it in until it goes in by hand. I'm gonna take the 3 8 side of that flare wrench and we're gonna tighten this up. Right like that, okay? And that's snug. That looks nice, right? Still original coil. Now, we're gonna light the pilot. Hold down the red plunger again. Take our lighter. I'm gonna hold this down for 60 seconds. All right, maybe third time's a charm. Wow, valve shot. Wanna hold back? Guns into it. See? Oh, look, it's moving. It's moving. Arr. Did you have your wheeze this morning, Peter? No, I didn't eat this one. No? Candy from. No, I didn't eat anything. You're letting that, those channel locks get the best of you, aren't you? I usually do that, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can also do it from here, too, you know. Come up by hand. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's clean off a little bit of cocky there. Let's get some pipe dope. Put that on the threads right there. Okay. We have the three quarter by half inch bushing. So let's stick that right there. Another wrong way? Oh, other way. Come on. Get on there. There you go. Let's get some pipe dope on the threads of the reducing bushing. Okay. Now direction of flow on our replacement valve is right there. All right, take that little plastic plug out. And let's get that on there. Yeah, okay, good. Good, make that nice and tight. Okay, hold that down. You smell any gas there? Actually, it's there. Yeah, now it's one guess. Okay, good. Now, let's take that, uh, the pilot tubing, all right? You're gonna put it into that hole right there. Let's take this out, okay? Make that nice and pretty. 
Here, hold this actually. Uh, 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 uh. some round. Left to do, you think? Um, besides putting the grinders back in, my well, pilot, right? Yeah, okay, wrong. We need to install the ECO jumper, which is this piece right here. All right, put the jumper wire, and that goes right here. Holding down the plunger. Excellent. Hold that down. The plunger, 60 seconds. Okay. Ready? Success. See that? We have success. All right. The cover goes back on. All right. Power's back on. Wires are on TH and TR. Lower the cutoff. Just did a self check. Vent damper is still closed. Thermostat is on. Let me go. Someone turn it off. No, did someone turn it off? Uh -oh. Okay, now we see what happened. There you go. Thermostat was off. Thermostat relay clicked on. Vent damper is opening. Once that opens, We'll have 24 volts going to the gas valve. Like that. Easy peasy. Next, we gotta check gas pressure and combustion analysis. How are we looking? Okay, let that stack temperature get hotter. And make sure we're still good. O2 is good. Carbon monoxide is good. Gross efficiency needs to come down to 80, 82%. All right, now clipboard that and then test draft our O2 and CO is not going to change. We are good with draft too. Clipboard that and then we'll print the results. Peter! Any feedback? Um, pretty straightforward. I'm quite impressed. 
you correctly identified all of the parts, all the components of that steam boiler when we first arrived. Where I'm confused is last week on Friday, you didn't recall the two main electrical components of that condensing unit outside, which were the condensing fan motor and the compressor, besides the dual capacitor and the contactor. How did you forget that? I, I know those are the two main components. It's just, just the just, way it was worded. Just the way it was just worded? Messed with me, yeah. Okay. Because when I think like electrical components, I think like... Like a light switch? Like I, I know... Light bulbs? I know it means something that uses electricity. I'm going to put a little light bulb above his head right now. Yeah, like a light bulb. <laughs> I guess. So, I think you did one with Daniel last week. Where Was it Friday? The gas valve. Yeah. He tried to... The, the, Pilot wins daylight. This is the, the, the Chinese people in, in Mineola, where you, Daniel and you went there. The pilot wins daylight. The boy was taken apart when you got there, right? But the pilot wins daylight, replaced the thermocouple, mm -hmm. and then the gas valve wouldn't stay. The gas, the pilot valve on the gas valve wouldn't stay open. So you also have to place the gas valve. Same thing right here. Look at that. And if you're changing a gas valve, make sure you test the gas pressure and do a combustion analysis. It's very, very important, okay? And I have plenty of videos on all this stuff. Just because I didn't show on this one doesn't mean I didn't do it. All right? So make sure you smash that thumbs up button. We're going to have a great, great winter here. And also a great winter air conditioning season in Charleston. Stay tuned.